Let's try this. Let's try this. Nope, this is terrible. This is terrible. Hello everybody, welcome to Show Reviews with me, Show here, where I play for mobile games and check them out so you don't have to. Here on this channel and on this show, we review games based on playability, zero microtransactions, length, design, and eventually how fun the game actually is. More on that in a bit. So what are you gonna take a look at today? Well, we're gonna take a look at a game called A Dance of Fire and Ice. A game where you have to tap your phone to a beat to... <laughs> Sound simple enough. I wish it was as simple as that. Playability. This is where we take a look at how much you can play the game in, without the game constantly telling you what to do and mm, I have issues with this game you see this game revolves around tapping to a beat and uh, the way that, that I set everything up is I hook my phone to a computer and there's a program that reads it and then I have to listen to uh, listen to it through the computer instead of from the phone. And this creates a problem. Because when you have a game designed about tapping to a beat and all of that, then yeah, it's really hard to record it. So I couldn't get very far. So and because you have to calibrate, like, this game revolves around calibration. How good you are at calibrating to <clears throat> to actually, you know, play the game. Fair enough, fair enough. But um, there's a problem, and I'm going to get into that in the design phase, but there's a problem with that... Um, doesn't necessarily tell you what you're supposed to be calibrating with like are you supposed to calibrate with the line that that is shown or to the beat what's a part of the beat it doesn't tell you so you're not really sure what you're calibrating into so you're constantly going back into the calibration to try and calibrate it to to make the de delay not be that terrible This becomes an issue. So in regards to playability, I'm going to have to knock it down a little bit. I'm going to have to knock it down to three. Zero microtransactions. This is where they look at the in-game store and or ads based on the based on the price that we paid for it. And uh, I paid one and a half euros for this. And uh, that's it. You just purchase it. You play it. And yeah, that's basically it. No interruptions, nothing, no cash help or anything like that. You just purchase, download, play. That's it. So in that regards, I'm gonna have to give it a five. It's yeah, we love it when the games do this, so you have to reward it. Length. This is where I take a look at how long the game appears to be, and or how much replayability you can get out of the game. Um, so, this game costs one and a half euro, which is somewhere close to two dollars. And uh, it has 12 levels. Each level has uh, sub, sub levels then within that. Or at least that's according to Google search. I gotta admit, I didn't make it that far. And, um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's actually pretty solid in that regards, based on the fact that it costs one and a half euro, un 
just under two dollars. I think it's like dollar eighty cents or something like that. Then yeah, I would say you'd get that's quite a decent amount of content in the game. So I'm gonna have to give it a five for that. Design. This is where they took a look at the, the design of the game, art, music, background music, all of that nonsense. And, um, yeah. Obviously, you can't do much in regards of background music and stuff like that because you're trying to listen to a beat and tapping based on that. Or at least that's what I think we're doing. Or maybe we're just watching the line and, uh, you know, tapping based on that. Either way, you have to calibrate the tapping before you actually go in. And this is a major, well, okay, I'm not going to say it's a major flaw, but it could be explained better. Because you have no idea what you're supposed to be calibrating to. Are you supposed to be calibrating to the line that you see on screen and it's a visual, visual thing with the beat in the background to kind of help you along? Or are you supposed to listen to to the beat? But then again, which parts of the beat are you supposed to be listening to and calibrating to? It doesn't specifically say that. It just tells you how good or bad you're doing. And you're just going to have to try and figure it out yourself. And there becomes the problem. Since you don't know how to calibrate it, the entire game just falls flat because of it. So, I mean, it does look good, but at the same time, you have all of this flashing and eh, flashing in your eyes. So, I guess that's to distract you while you're tapping and stuff like that. I'm torn on this. I'm really torn on this. So, in design phase, I have to give it a three. Let's go middle of the road three. I mean, middle of the road is 2.2 2 and a half, so that's a little bit better than average. So, a 2 and a half feels harsh because it does look good. And if you, if you can manage to get get it synced correctly and all of that, then it is a, it is a fun game. But, yeah, we're going three. We're going three. That's fine. Then. Fun. This is, well, how fun the game actually is. And uh, I may be affected a teensy bit because of the uh, because of the uh, calibration issues that I had. So I'm gonna knock that down a little bit further to a two. It may sound harsh, I realize that, but no, there's no but. It's just it is harsh, and it's mainly because of the calibration issues if you can't get the calibrations to sync correctly in then i'm sorry but the game falls apart because of it so it has a lot of potential though if they would just fix that issue then yeah that would be that would be great So overall, this game gets 18 points out of 25 available, meaning that it gets a 3.6, which we're going to knock down to 3.5, so yeah, it's, I think that's fair. It's not horrible, it has a lot of flaws, it has the potential to be a whole lot better, but in this current stage when I was recording and playing this and reviewing this, then yeah, I, I can't justify giving it a higher, so... Yeah, three, three and a half, it sounds fair. So that's it for today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all of that nonsense. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Am I the only one? Nobody else? Like...
Why does this look like a toilet? You have to go under the toilet. 